Land restoration project is a project that works on restoration of degraded lands, mostly for poverty reduction and for improving the livelihoods of the people who we are working with. It's, it's aimed at uh, taking the project successes and upscaling what we find as a good project outcome. In the project, one of the things we're aiming to do is to build up the community practice among people involved in land restoration and dry lands, uh, particularly pastoralist communities using rangeland management as a tool for, for rehabilitating and managing their lands. And so we thought this conference would be an opportunity for community members uh, from pastoralist communities uh, around Kenya to come together and share experiences uh, of what they've been doing. And so we brought people from communities within our project, but also other pastoralist communities involved in rangeland management. I think it is an important issue because it brings together uh, rangeland communities from different parts of Kenya to come together and discuss issues related to the, uh, to the rangelands in their specific uh, locations and communities. And finding a way of, of, of addressing the challenges they are facing uh, on the issues to do with the rangelands. challenges that we have in Kajado, especially Kajado Central, is land uh, subdivision. And again, uh, human population growth, uh, human wildlife conflict, and uh, persistent droughts, and other issues related to uh, the climate change. The most exciting thing that I've seen from here uh, people from different pastoralist community, from different rangeland areas. We have come together, we have interacted, we have changed ideas. Everybody from different community, they have different ways of how they conserve their environment. And we have learned a good idea from one another. Uh, the most important one is the, the one that I've learned from the uh, communities from the northern part of Kenya, the northern rangelands, is that they, are, they have zoned their own land. There is a grazing area during dry season and a grazing area for their livestock during rainy season. Well, for sure, there are certain good elements that have come up. Um, for, for example, from our side, the livestock, we found that the livestock department in the Ministry of Agriculture was very dormant. Most of the things we were doing, we involved Ministry of Agriculture, which basically was looking at crop, crop farming rather than pastoralism. Uh, and livestock. From here, I think we've got a way forward because the representative from the ministry who came here, we've got ideas about policy, new policy that has uh, in parliament on livestock. We feel we want an input and uh, we feel that we can engage them so that we can activate those ones at the grassroots. That's a plus. One of the way forward is uh, actually working as a team. Uh, working as insulation uh, rangeland units cannot support uh, the life. So the aspect is we plan as a team. And that planning as a team on a larger rangeland area will support uh, the life of all the communities. But uh, working as individuals is just like creating conflict because the other communities will actually, you cannot uh, prevent them from using your resources. So the thing is, working or coming as a team will actually enable us to move the rain lands as things at higher. Well, the, a platform, platforms by which we can engage government in the processes of policy and strategy. That one has come out and I think it is an opportunity that has been placed into our laps by this conference. 
because it will not have been there, for example. And um, maybe we have even benefited the ministry because as um, much as they were still talking about consultations with the community groups or represented from the ground, I, we pointed out certain people among the participants here who are at the center of community activities, who are not involved or who are not aware. That was a gap. And we feel that that gap can be can be filled by the opportunity afforded by this conference. For, for me, the highlight that stood out uh, from the conference was uh, one of the breakout sessions we had where we brought pastoralists uh, from different regions and they were discussing about the challenges that they face, which ended up, uh, most of the things that they listed as challenges, they had solutions for, for these challenges within themselves. So at the end of it all, from like a listing of 10 challenges, for example, you end up with probably like three that they haven't really thought about a solution for. So it really made me, made me think that it's good to bring these people together so that they can keep discussing what they find, what is good for them, what works, what doesn't in the different contexts. So that really stood out for me from the conference. I, I had a, a related one because about the, the process of how that happened. Because we had people there who were community members and community leaders, but we also had people from NGOs and research organizations and so on. And when we split up into different groups, at one point we, we split up so that there was a group of made up of entirely of community members. And once we, from the researchers and university people and NGO people, left and were in a different room, the community members really opened up and started sharing experiences with each other. I came and I, I eavesdropped at the door for a little while. And uh, the discussion was very interesting. And as Irene was saying, they came up with a lot of solutions. Um, while the, the experience sharing in a conference setting was useful, um, we also see that there's um, a lot of opportunity for learning from each other among the community members in our project, for example, on the ground. And so we're planning a, a learning tour where people from different communities will move around and see some of the rangeland management interventions that other community members have been trying. And learning from each other in the field, uh, sharing experiences. The other thing is we're hoping if we have enough budget left in the project, by the end of the project, is to hold another conference like this, but this one will be more specifically targeted at formalizing this and creating this, this network, this community of practice um, at the national level where pastoralist communities have a platform of their own that they can use to raise issues with political leaders, um, and continue working and collaborating among themselves. So that's what we're that's what we're hoping to do. And one of the a couple of the things that came out of, of that conference that that were highlights and, and parts of the way forward for me.